Okay. How's young guys? Connor is here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Xenoverse. Last time things happened. This time more things are gonna happen. So we arrived in this like a uh, kind of ghost town it seems. Uh, what was the name of this place? West Star City. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check this place out. See what's going on. Hello, are you a ghost mill tank? You're not. You look like a normal mill tank to me. Work in progress. What brings you to West Star City, gringo? This isn't exactly the right city for tourists. I'm gonna do laundry with the water, with the well water. Do you need some too? Here, take it. I don't think that water is fresh. If it's coming from that well, it's probably not fresh. Why is the blast always blocking the door? Blast. Yeah, blast. See like the see the bouncer? <laughs> Firehouse Ghost Emergency and Ignition Suppression Team. Oh yes. Exactly what I needed. Ooh, there's a thing in the corner. A ghost gem. Perfect. Just the gem I was looking for. It's a crumbled sheet of paper with some lines. They seem in rhyme. Okay. Guess that's it. Oh, look at Team Dimension. Who would have thought? Oh, they're blocking off the gym. What the heck is a PS Sue? Okay. Oh, I can't hop that. It's a fence, I guess. I thought it was hoppable. Moo. Moo indeed. Did I already talk to you? A dusk stone. I think I already have one. Nunville and Papillon always fight over an item called Dread Pendant. Apparently allows them to evolve and amplify. Ooh, ooh, okay, so we need one of those then. We have Papillon, but we need a Dread Pendant for it to evolve. Where the hell are we going to get a Dread Pendant? I don't know. Can I get one here? Maybe. We're talking about it. Let's continue looking around. They're blocking off the route down there. Great. That's what I want to see. Can you stop? Stand still for two seconds. Two seconds! Jeez. Ooh, what are you selling? A dread pendant, maybe? No, you're selling plates. Ooh. Um, I'll take a... Oh, I don't have the money. I want to... I'll take a mine plate, though just to give to Papillon, because he doesn't really have anything to hold on to. I found some zinc in his trash, though. That's kind of nice. What is this? Wild Bull Saloon. And this leads where? That looks important. I'll come back to that. I'll definitely come back to that. There's some other things we need to check out, like these buildings over here. Some black sludge. Okay, cool. Okay. Has anybody seen a dread pendant anywhere? I would love a dread pendant. Anybody at all? You? 
Wait, what'd you say? I just got my I just got a soothe bell. I don't get what just happened. What I trade? What I give him for that soothe bell? I don't know. That's cat. That cat kid's creepy. Hold on. I don't like the look of that kid's face. Got TM seventy seven psych up. Cool. Got like a little grave here. Cool. Oh, hello. Okay. More peck -a bone This music, though, hold on. Did you hear that? <laughs> that shit's wild. Is this a church? A lighthouse. Ooh, Twisted Spoon. That's nice. Oh, there's Pokemon in here? Of course there are. More Papillon. I already have my Papillon, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> You'll know when you grow up. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Well, that looks to be everything. Uh, I guess the only other places we can check out are... We can see what the Team Dimension guy is doing in front of the gym. Nothing happens there, and then we'll just have to go check out this area to the right over here. Off limits? Yeah, okay. So we gotta go to the right, then. It's the only other place I can think about going to. Over here. Oh, there's an item down there. Oh, it's Mystic Water. Nice. Are you the gym leader? Hmm. This being is different from the ones we found before. Oh, you're finally here, Will. Are you res are you receiving strange electromagnetic waves as well? Will, who's Will? I'm not Will. You're not the Ninito? Ninito. Uh, okay. Who are you, Chico? Mark, are you a trainer? Nice to meet you. I'm Minta. What does that say? Did they not translate that? <laughs> I can't read that. Spetri. You're looking for the gym leader Casper, aren't you? Well, you're not going to find him here. Some black-clothed bastards have been blocking access to some areas, gym included, for a few days. I have no idea who they are, nor what they want from the citizens. What are you saying? Those... I'm not going to try to pronounce these words. Uh, they hail from that damn team dimension? Christ Chrysler may know something about it. Uh, that guy is a top-tier genius. I've got an idea. You want to meet the other members of my squad? You know, Geist. Works alongside Sheriff Casper, so we could help you meet him. And I'll tell you why right away. Our group is tasked with a double-faced city patrol duty. During the day, we handle the occasional fire, but after dark, we're Ghostbusters. Oh, great. A job like ours is vital in a constantly haunted place like Wester City. So the sheriff holds a lot of respect for our team. Uh, come inside in the firehouse for the meet and greet. Oh, great. I get to meet and greet. I've always wanted to meet and greet. What? I'm guessing that says a mysterious presence is blocking access. What? 
I'm missing something? Where is it? Is that not? Oh, the, that's not the fireplace. Duh, the fireplace is over here. Fireplace is being blocked by the Blastoise earlier. Here we go. Hello, Mark. We've been wait. I've been waiting for you. Uh, the Geist Firehouse. I'm not gonna try to pronounce the non-English words, dude. I don't want. I don't want to mess. I don't want to butcher them badly. Here we monitor the city to thwart fires or infestations efficiently. I said I'd introduce you to my co-workers. I'll show you the other rooms of the firehouse while I'm at it. Okay. This is my office. It may not be much, but I keep all the team's achievements here. Really, do you have a dread pendant by chance? Over there is one of the members of our group. Come on, I'll introduce you. You mean the Blastoise with the scar on his face? That is also not translated, or maybe it... Okay, maybe it's not supposed to be. Blast. Buster's no common Blastoise, though. See the cannons on its shell? While returning from a mission, we met some punks who were harassing a poor Cubone. My Pokemon immediately put itself in front of the little guy to protect it from those... people. But alas, those people managed to break its cannons. Oh, shit. Buster, without its best weapon, couldn't put all itself in our missions. So Chrysler, the team's brain, invented some artificial prosthetics for it. Uh, never stops surprising me. Blast. Blast indeed. Those cannons look kind of cool, actually, compared to the normal ones. As you can see, we're two peds in a pod. Follow me, Mark. No need to get so riled up, Minta. He is just a squirt after all. Wow. Salem. No need to make it that long, Minta. You just need to say that I'm that word. A boaster as usual, Salem. Come on, Minta, no point in hiding the truth, right? Okay. No offense, Salem, but you're hopeless. Come on, Mark. Let's leave the city here. Okay. Other members of the team should be upstairs. Let's go. Oh, look, it's Will. Hey, is everything okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, jeez, look at that. Oh, hi, Minta. What's wrong? Nothing. I just had a bad dream. Ah, sis, who's this? Oh, you're right. Uh, this is Mark, a Pokemon trainer. Wow, are you serious? Besides Minta and Salem, I've never seen other trainers around here. Nice to meet you. I'm Will. As you can see, Will here is very shy, but he's a sweet boy to boot. You're making me blush, Minta, but thanks for the compliments. It's the truth. Mark, you must know that Geist was founded by Will's father. We owe everything to him. Dad passed away a few years back, though. My friends and I tried every day to protect what he created, although I'm still not ready to... Will, don't say that. You know that ain't true. You should be more confident. Thanks, sis. I promise I'll try. Good, that's the spirit. Let's go back downstairs, Mark. It's time to meet our last partner. Okay. Come on, follow me. Oh my god. What is he wearing? This area is basically the heart of the firehouse, the laboratory. Here we archive all the info regarding paranormal phenomena, studying the means to fight them back. But none of this would be possible without our genius. Chrysler, is it a bad time? I have someone to introduce to you. One of Chrysler's quirks is being a man of few words. Other than that, our team would be nothing without his work. 
A Chrysler will even look at us. Say hi to our guest. He is Mark, a Pokemon trainer you met in Wild Bull Saloon's vicinities. What is he wearing? Holy shit. The kid has come into this town to challenge Sheriff Casper, but some Team Dimension grunts. Involved in the recent events, blocked the gate to the gym. That's the reason why you let him here. Chrysler, were you spying on me or something? Negative, Captain. Simply, you weren't aware your transceiver was in function. Whoops. Still introducing each other face to face is better. There's no time. The city is in grave danger. Huh? Could you be more specific, Chrysler? Hey, Cry Christ nerd. <laughs> Why'd you call me? Hope for you it's something important. Christ nerd. <laughs> well, what's going on? Why the meeting? Shut up, you two. Let Chrysler speak. He must have his reasons. Captain, you have captured a strange magnetic field in the Wild Bull Saloon area, right? Yeah, I have. On second thought, it was a really abnormal presence. Way more intense than usual. When Mark arrived, I completely forgot about it. See? A chance thrown under the bus, and it's all the squirt's fault. Wow. Buster, sh shut up that show off. Oh, shit. Keep it quiet, Buster. Come on, guys. This isn't the time for arguments. Actually, if the captain hadn't come in contact with Mark, she would be a prisoner of the saloon's ectoplasm now. Are you dumb, Chrysler? I hate Minta's guts, but even I have to admit how tough she is. Nothing would have changed. Negative, Salem. The captain's skills are in fact high, but not high enough. However... Mark's arrival must have triggered something in the ectoplasm that made it disappear. That's why when I met him, I couldn't pick up anything. You must be a formidable trainer. The anomaly isn't gone from the radars. It's probably still wandering inside the saloon. However, we possess no data regarding this Pokemon. For all we know, there could be more than one. Oh, jeez. We must act quickly. We need a good plan. I have a really bad feeling. I'm so scared right now. What are we waiting for? To the saloon! We'll come up with a plan to get rid of that entity once we get there. Mark, my sources indicate that you are here to challenge Gym Leader Casper. My knowledge might be enough to reprogram Team Dimension's robots, so we could free the gym. But we need your help just as much as you need ours. So I'm asking you to assist us on this mission. I'm sick of all this chit-chat. The last one that gets there smells like a garbador. Okay. Well. He's always so reckless. Salem, I swear I'm going to give you a lesson. Mark, we're going to the Wild Bull Saloon. We'll be waiting for you there, in case you're willing to accept our deal. Okay, well I guess I got no choice, because I need to get to that gym. So to the Bull, to the bull Saloon we go. All right, it's back down here. If we're gonna be fighting ghosts, actually, our papillon's, it's level 35. What's the point of it being part dark if it's not gonna learn a single dark attack? Like, can I get one at the move relearner? I don't think so. Yeah, I can't. What's, again, what's the point of it being part dark? With no, with it not even learning a single dark attack. That's just ridiculous, dude. At that point, you might as well not even make it part dark. Make it part ghost. It's learned like a couple ghost moves. Man. It's kind of stupid, honestly. Kind of dumb. Anyways. Let's just move on from that. Mark. So you've decided to give us a hand on the mission. This ruined building is the Wild Bull Saloon. Not many years ago, it used to be one of West Star City's main attractions. Can you believe that? The owner, Chempo, built it about a century ago, taking the role as bartender as well. Every zone was finely organized. For instance, the one we're occupying right now was the battle room. 
Here, both Westar City citizens and outsiders used to fight between one drink and the next one. All good things come to an end, though. Someone spread a rumor about a monstrous Pokemon hidden by the owner. It's going to be an ex-Pokemon, isn't it? People, even though they've never seen this creature, believe the rumor. So, Champo started seeing. Day after day, his clients disappearing one after the other until he was left alone. So the saloon has been deserted ever since. Became the home of ghost-type Pokemon. But Geist will never let an arrogant two-bit spirit take it for itself, ruining Mr. Chempo's work. That's why we're here. Now that everyone's here, Geist can finally start its magic. That's right, Mark. Until the end of the mission, you're going to be part of our team. Let's go through the area for clues. Great. Alright, do I have to throw a pell in here? Probably, honestly. Except there's Pokemon in here. Yeah. Gotta repel. Ooh, Haunter. That's kinda cool. Dude. Dude. Thank you. Toros heads. Another locked door. This door's unlocked. Oh, look, it's Will. Ooh, there's something over there. Found a saloon key. Okay. That works. Does that open the top door? No, it does not. Does it open this door? Or is this door already unlocked? I got another saloon key. That's being blocked by cut, which we don't have. How the hell did that even grow in here anyways? <laughs> I'm not even going to question it. Eviolite. Dope. Another saloon key. I'm getting all the keys. So I'm assuming that one goes to this door. Yes. Making progress. Max repel. Nice. Another one. That's probably to the top door because it's the only door left. What the heck was that? What the hell was shaking? Where'd everybody go? Mark, hurry up, we have a problem. Oh shit! <laughs> this man's levitating. Oh god. <laughs> I'm so scared, stop it Mark, please. <laughs> There's no need for you to waste your energies, Mark. Uh, this is my duty. No offense, Chrysler, but Mark is definitely more qualified than you. You're not, you aren't even a real trainer after all. Affirmative, Captain. The plan I designed, though, has a high success ratio. Just because my strength isn't comparable to Mark's. Alright, I know I can trust you. Thank you, Captain. What is he gonna do? Transfer protocol. Loading. 10%. 40, 70, 90, 100. Start! What the hell? Did he just switch spots with them? Why is that tubbo flying? Idiot, do you already forget everything? Poor Chrysler saved you by letting himself be taken by the Pokemon that possessed you. Uh, what? Then I have a chance to redeem myself? <laughs> oh, don't worry, Tubbo. I'll save your fat behind. <laughs> that, that laugh is creepy. I can't attack old Chrysler, though. What do I do? Out of the way, Salem. It looks like Mark wants to handle this. Oh, I get to fight Chrysler? Oh, great. He has a Pikachu. 
38. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. Uh, Shylene resists. We'll go to him. Take those all day. Take those all day. Matang. It's part steel. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to make a strategic retreat. Went for Zen Headbutt. Okay. Nice flame body. Go for the flame burst. Get the one shot. Fantastic. And clang. Okay. Hmm. It's gonna automize. It became nimble. It's very nimble. Look how nimble it is. There we go. Hey, Chrysler. Oh, that battle must have made him tired. Chrysler, thank you for taking this risk in order to save us. But most importantly, thank you, Mark. I agree with you, sis. Mark, you were amazing. But still too early for celebrations. That Pokemon is still on the loose. It could put any, any of us against the other at any moment. And we're already short on Tubbo. Uh, Chrysler, I'll make that bastard pay. Mark, give me that key. Let's settle this for good, or let's settle this good-for-nothing spirit. Okay. Oh, we can't split up at a time like this. Blast. Blast, indeed. Hey, guys, don't leave me by myself. Okay, we're just gonna leave him like that? Okay. <laughs> I guess. No Geist member in sight. Oh, God. Let me go use the, uh, the machine real quick. I think it was in this room? Yes. It was another night here at the saloon. The clients and their Pokemon, between a drink and the next one, spent their time battling. Music and loud choirs echoed in the theater room, making the desolate Wester look like a nightlife city. Despite being the owner of the shack, I've never been a partier, so I just used to wa watch others having fun, proudly enjoying the results of my efforts. Suddenly, like a bolt from the blue, I felt a shiver down my spine. My observing spirit led me to find out something extraordinary that night. I saw a shadow hiding between the customers of the saloon. A shadow that resembled a Pokemon. Ever since then, my working days have never been the same. Interesting. Can I find more of those? Nothing in there. Uh, nothing in there. Yeah, there's nothing anywhere. I mean, maybe down there, but... Can't get by there without cut. We don't got cut. It's all the floating candles. Ooh, can I go this way? I can go upstairs. Ooh, what's that? Full heal. Nice. Hello? Who's playing that piano? Candles are blocking the upstairs area. Oh, look who it is. Oh, look who, who it's not. Ah. Uh... Yo, 
shit's getting weird. Oh, there he is. Oh, are you trying to hide from me? Dude, that, that, that cry is creepy, dude. Oh, God, there's like five, six of them. Oh, jeez. I've been waiting just for you, Mark. You're on a whole different level than the others. Are you surprised that I can talk? It's nothing special, really. A puppet master like me can easily take control of other people's bodies. Hang ha ha hang head, hang head, hang head. I never met anyone gifted, both with such love and such hatred. You're my real prey. But I have to admit that this hatred-filled body is not bad at all. I could get used to it. This guy, behind the facade of the tough guy, only wants to prove himself to be useful to for his companions. Such a perfect pawn for my game. Now it's time to test you, to see how far I can push this blondie's body. Okay. Well, now we gotta fight Salem. Great, he has two Pokemon. Charmeleon to start off, that's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Uh... How much is that doing? Okay, not a lot. Oh yeah, we're good. Good job. Scary face? No thanks. Houndoom. Beat up, it's only gonna hit me once. What are you thinking? What an absolute buffoon. Okay. That was easy enough. Score, is that you? Let me guess, you saved my bacon again, haven't you? Oh, this is absurd. I managed to get myself beaten by a little kid. <laughs> I let pride fog my mind and I acted carelessly. It's my fault we're in this situation now. I can't move an inch, as if all the energy I had has been drained. That damned thing must be still be roaming the saloon. Mark, you're the only one who can do this. Save Minta and Will. I, I'm at the fight all of them, aren't I? Let me tell you this, though. You may have defeated me, but I'm still the most handsome. Come on, Mark. Make that bastard pay. Sure, dude. What's in here? A black flute. Nice. Oh, here's another page. Since that day, or since then, every day, I used to wait for that shadow to come back. At nightfall, like clockwork, I was stunned to see this happening. My soul was frightened, and at the same time intrigued by that mysterious presence. However, if my cli clientele knew that ghost type Pokemon was haunting the saloon during their parties, Everyone would have never come back. So late at night, when no one was in the bar anymore, I started playing the piano, an old song I learned from my father. I was so lost in my melody that I didn't notice the shadow was showing itself to my eyes. I'll be frank, the fear overwhelmed my curiosity then. I stopped playing. But still, I took courage and tried convincing that Pokemon had no bad intentions. The shadow creature, like it was reading my heart, suddenly transmuted, showing off its true appearance. You could still see suspicion in its eyes, but slowly our souls got closer. Okay, it's back here. Oh, it's a den. Sure, why not?
Oh, that's a... What the hell is that? Scarachno? The hell is a Scarachno? Okay, so I can't go that way at all. Oh, what? I gotta go around then? I see the thing right there, but it seems like I gotta go around. Oh my gosh. This way then? Nope. Which way do I go, dude? This way? Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I don't have time for this. This is gonna be fucking an hour long if I keep dealing with that den. Honestly, oh look at their scrackno in here. Interesting. I'll deal with that den another time. It's not really that important anyways. Just to get maybe an item or two. Not a huge deal. I'll deal with it another time. Let's go to the upstairs. If I can find the way to get around these stupid candles. Oh my gosh, dude. Really? I mean, I can't step over a bottle. Jeez. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, look who it is. It's Will. Every day, the little one came to the saloon where it had assured had an assured meal. Finally, I found a new friend. But then, one night, a gang of outlaws alongside three hound dooms broke into the inn, raiding all my and my customers' money. Westar has never been the city of trainers, so I didn't know who to ask for help, especially to protect at all costs that Pokemon. Among the people, a newborn infant broke down in tears, and one of the Houndoom, sick of that whining, attacked her. Oh, you attacked a baby? I didn't want to witness such a brutal scene, so I shut my eyes. Oh, jeez. Attacked a baby. Once I opened them again, I saw the dark Pokemon groaning on the floor. It was my friend. That kind-hearted Pokemon stood up from the saloon. And that baby. The three outlaws ordered their Houndoom, a combined attack right away. But the small shadow threw them away in the blink of an eye. The thugs cut and ran, and so I tried to reassure the customers, telling them what really happened. It was such a relief telling someone about the Pokemon strongly attached to the saloon. The outcome was not like I was expecting at all. The clientele, just by the idea that a ghost had been there for all that time, got terrified and fled. I tried explaining that creature was, so, was inoffensive, but I couldn't talk them out. Even my friend, saddened about the whole story, hid, and hid into its own shadow. Since then, the saloon income crashed, and no one came by anymore. This memory of mine now is nothing more than a nightmare that haunts my sleep. No more songs, no more dances, nor drinks. Everything is so sad and quiet here. Not even it came back. Now it's only me and my worst enemy, the loneliness. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, let's go beat up Will, I guess. Dead end. Next special attack, not bad. 
Um, down here, up here, this way, that way, this way, that way. And we're here. Oh, what the hell? I gotta heal up Harrock real quick. For the upcoming battle. Alright. Oh, there you are. You wanna play hide and seek with me? Not really. I really didn't want to. But I guess I have to. Um. There he is. Peekaboo. What? Wrong game, dude. No peekaboo here. Um. Oh, there he is. Go all the way around. Okay. Um, he's not going to be up by like the letter, is he? Let me check just in case. I don't think he's going to be up here. Yeah, he's not. Okay. God, I'm just wasting repels doing this shit. He's not around here. He's not down there. He's not over there. Definitely gonna want to fight. You know, I've always been a scary cat ever since I was a little kid. To help me overcome my fears, Dad used to bring me into hovels like this one. Just standing by his side, vanquished all the uneasiness I could feel. Do you see this mechanic, Tauros? Every time we came here, Dad put me aboard it and made me forget. Er, Put me aboard it to make me forget about my fear of ghost type Pokemon. Every time I think about those days, I see why I decided to follow in Daddy's footsteps. But now Dad's gone. He left me alone. And I'm still a coward. Mark, possessing the body of this kid was actually pretty easy. Mostly because when he saw me, he started crying his heart out. Oh God, Will. Will, no. It may not be that blondy, but with this body, I feel like a real human. I can get used to this quickly. When I get rid of you, I'll be able to leave this wretched place and blend into your society without suspicion. You mean, you mean really? You think those red eyes don't give it away? <laughs> Pretty sure normal people wouldn't have those red ass eyes. Ooh, he has a Kadoon. Why does he have a level 33 Kadoon? Does this thing know anything besides Splash or Tackle? It knows Gust? That was an ex I was not expecting Gust. We should be fine though. Oh no, it's flailing, but we're fine. That's a win. Another one. He just has two Kadoon. Really now, okay. So I'd probably say he's the worst trainer of the four. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Literally just had a pair of Kadoon. Oh, he's another one, Bulbasaur. Still not impressed. Still would say he's the worst of the four. Definitely say he's the worst of the four. You managed to defeat me, but I'll leave this place with the body, or with this body. 
No. H hang, hang it. This is my body. Go away. Damn. Are you trying to oppose me, coward? <laughs> no one ever managed to get out of my control. You can't understand. I may be a coward and a worthless Pokemon trainer, but if you thought you could bring me down with your words, you made a sore mistake. I'm not alone anymore. Sis, Buster, Chrysler, Salem, and Mark too. They're my family. Dude, I only, I've only known you for like a couple hours. Thanks to them, I'll, I'll find the strength to overcome my fears. Ah, damn it, my control is slipping. Dad taught me that harnessing the weakness of the souls of fragile people is wrong. But now, the sadness you were leeching on has become my will to fight. My geist soul is burning bright. You have nothing to grab onto anymore, hanghead, hanghead. Get out of my body. Dog. Well, that's three down, one to go. It's all over now. Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. Please save my sis and defeat that monster. Sure thing, dude. Sure thing. Let me just heal up real quick. Alright, one more. Oh, well, this one looks like it's going to be easy. Oh, I forgot about Blast. I forgot about the Stoice. Very well, Mark. I've been waiting for you. You've managed to humiliate me, but now it's time for my revenge. Surprised? As you can see, I can simultaneously control these bodies since they share a deep bond. I think I may have hit the jackpot with this girl. She's smart like the Tubbo, capable like the Blondie, and finally, she's full of spirit like that twerp. End of the line, cowboy. Hang Ed, the king of this saloon, is gonna make you pay dearly. Oh jeez, I gotta fight that Blastoise. Okay, it's just the Blastoise, okay. Okay, level 40 Blastoise. Good God, man. Oh boy, okay. What are the chances it knows an ice attack? As long as it doesn't know an ice attack, I think we're fine. Okay, that's all Hydro Pump did. That's great. Here, let me drain you real quick. Get all that health back. Flash Cannon. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, we lived. It's fine. That lower our special defense. Okay, that's good. That's fine. We're faster. We're going to finish him off. There we go. Cool. If you would have used that Flash Cannon first turn, that maybe would have caused some problems, but we're fine. There's no way I could have lost while controlling two bodies. Damn, kid. I'll take control of you once and for all. Not so fast. All oh, the squad's here. Yeah, tell it, Salem. You have to deal with us first. We won't let you take Mark that easily. What do you think you can do? I've already shut all of you once. And I can do it again, whenever I want. You're right, Hanged. You've already defeated us once. But we were alone back then. This time is different. We are gonna fight you. Together. Squatted. My energy is disappearing. Come on, guys. Let's put our back into it for Sis and Buster. Curse you, humans. Ah! Oh, look at the, Whoa, whoa, look at that! Whoa! That thing looks... Oh my gosh. That thing looks crazy. Sis, how do you feel? Oh, uh, you're all okay. What happened? 
You let that hangat take control of your body, <laughs> like an amateur. Luckily for you, I, Chrysler, Will, and Mark beat the living soul out of that buffoon. What'd you call me, Salem? I dare you to say that one more time. You're right, though. It's that Pokemon got me without breaking a sweat. It's the first time one of my jokes made you laugh, Minta. <laughs> Finally falling for me? Shut up, show off. Gee, no need to get so worked up. Mark, thank you for your help, really. Blast. Blast, indeed. Uh, is nobody gonna just talk about the thing that's right there? <laughs> Guys, that seems to be Hangad's real form. Well, let's get rid of it right away. Salem, I have an idea. We've drained Hangad of almost all its energy, so it's no longer a threat. Mark, as a trainer, it's your choice to defeat or catch this Pokemon. Huh, fair enough. We're going then, Mark. Remember to stop by the firehouse when you're done here. A promise is a promise. We'll never forget what you did for us. Okay, we'll save real quick. Hello. Wait. Wait, this is the evolution of Papillon, isn't it? Or at least its final evolution. It looks just like, kind of looks just like it, and it's a puppet. Yeah, this has to be an evolu the evolution of... Okay. Wait, do I just want to catch this then? I mean, I kind of feel bad switching out my... The Papillon I trained and raised this entire time. But I mean, this one's already evolved. I don't know when I'm going to get a Dread Pendant. So, I, I think I might just go ahead and try to try to catch this one. It's a higher level. It's already evolved. So. Dude, you really, you're, you're really going to miss? Oh my god, you're such a disappointment. I don't think there's any, any, uh, any reason to be healing up. It's just going to keep side-beaming me. Yeah, there's no reason to heal up. Oh, it mean looked. What an idiot. What an absolute buffoon. Why are you mean looking? Okay, let me just go for a ball. Uh, Dusk ball, go. Aw, oh, dude, so close. Literally so close. Okay, I can't escape it mean looked me. Yeah. What am I gonna do? I can't hit it again. I don't think I can I don't think you can live another hit. I either gotta wait for him to take out Blingrim or just gotta try to catch him. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use my other uh Dusk Ball just yet. Once he takes out Blingrim, I'm going to switch in Shylian if I don't catch him. Okay, we caught him. I was going to switch in Shylian and get him, hit him with the Toxic, but I guess we're fine. Psychic goes. Wait! Oh, I'm so stupid. Sh Frick, I'm so stupid. Papillon is Psychic Ghost. Oh my god. This whole time I thought Papillon was Psychic Dark. And I was complaining about it not learning any dark attacks. <laughs> oh, man. But no, it was Psychic Ghost this entire time. I'm so dumb. Anyways. Yeah, this has to be that the evolution of it then, right? Controls Pokemon and human beings as puppets used using its strings. Feeding on their life energy and turning their bodies into soulless empty shells. Well, that's terrifying. Alright, cool. Oh, and we got a Dread Pendant. Wow, so we can actually evolve the one we have, but honestly, I think I might just use the one we caught. I mean, it's already three levels higher. Got a last note here. August, not even a single customer in months. I was on the rooftop when I heard a roar coming from the main hall. I immediately ran there. I shouldn't have. 
those gangsters came back with reinforcements. But this time there was no there was a known face. The mayor. Gunther, a corrupt politician of Eldu's underworld. The man behind the tourist crisis of Westar City. Why was he here? He made it clear immediately. He had come to take his revenge for what happened a few months earlier and catch the Pokemon of the saloon. He was done talking and one of the outlaws, Scarfasmo, that's a cool name, attacked me while the other Pokemon started destroying what remains of my inn. Slash hit me hard, but my physical pain was nothing compared to my inner wound. Everything I built, every happy memory, everything went up in smoke. I was about to pass out when all the Pokemon were thrown away by a powerful force or a powerful attack. It could, it could be only it, my friend. Gunther ordered his minions to attack the little Pokemon, which beside its small size was really powerful. It must have been a Papillon then, because Hanghead is not small. It came back to protect me as it did with that child months ago. The mayor, out of henchmen, ran away, and the little Pokemon fell on the floor, exhausted. I owed so much to that Pokemon, so I took care of it for days, until it got its health back. Meanwhile, the whole city, hypnotized by the mayor's claptrap, started hunting the Pokemon that committed the crime of hurting that liar of Gunther. I had no choice. The little one and I had to leave Westar City. Waking up from its coma, it came closer to me, and a thick black tear crossed its face. I don't know if it was sadness or happiness to see me in the good old or see me in the good old days. All I know is that I witnessed the creation of an unforgettable memory of our bond. After that, the Pokemon vanished before my eyes. My friend didn't want me to leave everything I had created, and so it was. I'm old now, and death will soon come and visit me. So, please, I ask of those of you who will read these words to respect my only remaining wish. Keep the bottle of the black tear safe. I've kept it hidden in the basement. It represents the soul of a Pokemon that did everything to protect me in my beloved city. Goodbye, Chempo. Interesting. Okay, so he said it's in the basement, but we can't get to the basement without cut. So, I guess we'll have to come back once we get cut and see what's in that basement. It's a bottle of the black tear or something like that? It's crazy. All right, well, I am think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. It's been Connorist. I'll uh, see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Xenoverse. Thanks for watching again. And yeah. Peace out.